Hi, welcome to this tutorial on probability tree diagrams. Now I get many students who come to me and when I ask them what are they struggling with in statistics they almost inevitably say probability and generally what it is is that they're not drawing good probability tree diagrams and that's the reason then for this tutorial. I want to see if you draw a good tree diagram and if not I want to try and help you through that. So, let's start by giving you a problem to answer. I've got here that a bag contains four red sweets and five blue sweets, and two sweets are taken out of the bag at random. Draw a probability tree diagram when, okay, and we'll have the first question, when the sweets are taken with replacement. So, you just take out a sweet, note its colour, put it back in the bag, and take out another sweet. So, Grab yourself a piece of paper, I'll give you time to switch off this video, draw the tree diagram, OK, and then come back and restart the video from where you left off and hopefully we'll just see what kind of tree diagram you've drawn. OK, I'll give you 10 seconds, say, to pause the video. Okay, so welcome back and let's have a look at your tree diagram. Did it look something like this, I wonder? Well, if it did, then fair enough, you've got the right probabilities, okay? And that's, that, that's really good. But this is not going to be any good for doing more advanced work on probability tree diagrams. Okay, so I'm going to want to try and change your style if that is the case. Okay, so let's just clear that one off and introduce you to this type of tree diagram. You'll notice straight away that I've got two sections here clearly marked off by this red line down here. And what I want you to do is get in the habit of labeling these sections, what they represent. And in this particular problem, they represent picking the first suite. OK, so I just pop that in there. And the second section will be picking the second suite. All right. Then I want you to mark in the probabilities. We have this one as a red. But I want you to make sure that you use P, P for probability, capital P, probability of taking a red sweet, okay? And picking a red sweet was four out of nine. And down here we have probability of picking out a blue sweet, and that was five out of nine. And because we put the sweet back in the bag, then we have the possibility of taking out for our second suite a red or a blue. And so the probability again of picking out a red suite would have been 4 out of 9. And similarly the probability of picking out a blue suite would have been 5 out of 9. And then on this branch the probability of picking out a red would have been 4 out of 9. Or you could have picked out a blue and the probability of that happening would be 5 out of 9. Okay, so I would encourage you then to try and change your tree diagrams to look something like this when you've got sweets that are taken out, for instance, with replacement. Okay, now what I want you to do now is to try another problem. This time we're going to take the sweets out but without replacement. So we take out a sweet, note its colour, either eat it or throw it away and then go back in, take out another sweet and note its colour. Alright, so again, can you pause the video and just draw what you think the tree diagram should look like. Okay, so welcome back. Let's see how you got on. Well, hopefully you drew your diagram like this with a couple of sections. And hopefully you put the labels in for first suite and second suite. And I'd like to think you put the probabilities in of red being four ninths and probability of blue being five ninths. 
And then what about the second probabilities? Okay, did you put in these probabilities? The probability of drawing a red sweet was three eighths, and the probability of drawing a blue was five eighths. Remember, you took a sweet out, so when you took a red sweet out, you'd have one less red sweet, so it'd be three out of eight red sweets. And if you took a red out first of all, because there's only three red sweets left in, there must have been five blue sweets out of eight. And obviously in this second situation, you took out a blue, probability of five ninths, but if you did take out a blue, there would have been one less on the second go, four blue sweets out of eight. And that would have meant that there were still four red sweets in the bag out of eight, so the probability of drawing a red would have been four out of eight. So, did you draw your tree diagram like this? Well, it might surprise you that if you did, you've actually got it wrong. Okay, and this is something that I see so often. Why have you got it wrong? Well, let me just show you. Now, suppose I said to you, look, we've got x plus x equals, say, 6. What is x? You're obviously thinking 3, because 3 and 3 make 6. But why can't x be, say, 4 and 2? That makes 6. We almost were thinking that's daft, because I've used the same letter here. Obviously, it's meaning that the values must be the same. And that's how it should be in maths. If you use the same notation, we understand that it means exactly the same value. Well, let's just have a look over here. Look what you've done. You've got probability of red is 4 ninths, and immediately contradicted it with the probability of red is 3 eighths, or probability of red is 4 eighths. And when it comes to blue, probability of blue is 5 ninths, and then over here we said, no it's not, it's 5 eighths. No it's not, it's 4 eighths, and so on. And this is going to lead to mistakes. So how should we represent this? Well, first of all, we need to remove the probabilities in the second section here. We need to avoid that contradiction. So, what we've got here is we've drawn a red, and we should be writing the probability of drawing a red given that we have already previously drawn a red. We put this line down here, which means given. And the probability now is that because we had four red sweets, we took one, it, we're now down to three, and it's three out of eight. And for this branch, instead of just writing probability of blue, it's the probability of drawing a blue sweet given that we previously took a red. Okay? And that will be five now out of eight. And for this branch here, the probability of drawing a red sweet, given that I previously took a blue sweet, okay, will be four red sweets were left in the bag, because we didn't take one, out of eight. Four out of eight. And on this branch, it will be the probability of drawing a blue sweet, given that I previously took a blue. And that will be four out of eight. And now you see, there is no contradictions in our notation. And this is the type of tree diagram I want to encourage you to draw. Now if you look at my next tutorial on probabilities, I'll take you through the conditional rule of probability.